What is an embankment? Earth and materials such as stone and soil are used to build an embankment to raise roadways or railways above the surrounding ground level in order to provide structural support. When building a dam, the most impermeable materials such as dirt, sand, or rock are used to make the core while more permeable materials are used on the downstream and upstream edges to improve water flow. Embankment Free lodging and a 25-year flood return period are mandated by BIS 1.5 meters. From the central river line the embankment's orientation shall be determined at 1.5 times Lacey's width. Slope protection requires pitching over the Gabion design. For the embankment, a side slope of 2-1 for embankments up to 5 meters high and 5 meters in width, including landscaping. For vehicle crossings of 50 meters length and 10 meters breadth, the embankment needs to be widened every 1.00 kilometers. The embankment is surrounded by 50 centimeters of delicious soil on both on sides and top. Embankment to restrain high flood water. Attributes of embankment materials. Fine grain soil. Any potential pathways of filtration through the zone or concrete structures must be eliminated before any material can be used. For the dam to function properly, the soil mass must be adequately impermeable to prevent extreme water loss. Under the weight of the embankments the material must not become too compacted. The soil's sheer strength must be developed and maintained to the highest extent possible. The reservoir water must not cause the material to harden or soften unduly. Coarse grain soils. A consistent mass devoid of significant cavities must be created from the material. Free draining soil is required. The weight of the film must not cause the material to swell excessively. Internal friction must be significant in order for the soil to be stable. Broadly graded soils. Coarse grained and fine grained soils have similar engineering properties, whereas broad graded soils have a wider range of element sizes. Compared to fine grain soils, coarse grain soils often have poorer hydraulic conductivity, lower compressibility, and higher shear strength. Material properties of embankment. Gradation. Materials that are well graded, consisting of a mixture of various soil types, are ideal for embankment building, such as fine grained and granular soil. Although the maximum particle size must be smaller than 100 mm so that it may be easily deposited inside a 200 mm layer, there is no commonly advised range of gradation for fill materials due to the broad variety of soils that may be encountered during the construction process. There should be a predetermined maximum particle size for the rock or other oversized materials that will be used as an embankment base. Unit weight and specific gravity. Because of the several types of materials and moisture content fill materials can vary in unit weight across a large range. Low density fills have the advantage of transferring less dead weight to the soil beneath them, which is crucial when supporting an embankment. There are normally no maximum or minimum unit weight limitations, after or before the process of compression. Shear Strength The shear strength parameters of ER and fill materials are not generally given but are obtained by direct shear testing or triaxial compression and are used to calculate the slope stability of the embankment. Compressibility Under long-term loading conditions, compressibility describes a material's tendency to decompose or settle. The degree of compaction, permeability, void ratio, and saturation of a fill material all influence its compressibility. Er and fill material settling properties are assessed using a one-dimensional consolidation test. If any settlement occurs at all, it will occur after the embankment or fill has been completed. Bearing capacity. To put it another way, the ability of fill material to resist settlement, volume change, or structural damage is known as bearing capacity. Laboratory and field load tests can be used to determine a bearing's capability. Permeability. A soil's or an oversized material's permeability or hydraulic conductivity measures how quickly water can move through the fill material's pore structure. The capacity of compacted fill material to drain excess moisture is indicated by this feature. Spur. At the specified discharge QKIMS, the spur should have a 50-year return period. In accordance with the BIS regulation and as practice, the freeboard should be 1.5 meters. For earth fill spurs, the top of the spur must be at least 4 meters high. 
priority should be given to machine-made hexagonal of 1012 mesh type or mesh of 6 cm x 8 cm mesh reno mattresses for slopes as the life of machine-made crates is significantly higher and more effective. I hope the video provides you with a sound understanding of embankment, its purpose, and its properties. Please feel free to like, share, and comment.